right on the way back. Uh, just paint the bottoms to load up one of the cars. Uh, look at them, look at the morning, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful coming off the heat. I just feel like turning around, going back home, uh, back home, back at Beale. Uh, well, it's, it's nearly Beale. Anyway, uh, bottoms told us to get there for quarter to nine, and we got there for 20 to nine, and I had that loaded in 15 minutes, and there it is on the back. That's what we're bringing back. The Peugeot 307 van from the Packard collection. Um, I've got one or two bits from the Packard collection. Um, so there's the sat nav. Have a look at that, 314 miles back. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. And I'll do it all again on Wednesday and Thursday. And I'm back down the good one. But there you go, this is what we do. Passing the Beaulieu Hotel here on the Heath. Visitors been staying for the weekend. How are you, man? Look at that. Ah, oh, you never get sick of it, man. You never get sick. Beaulieu Road, that's the uh, railway station. It takes you straight into London, into Waterloo, I believe. It takes about uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, I'm sounding like a travel guide for Beaulieu now, one. Got some more horses over here. What a fantastic place to visit. You never get the chance to visit. Well, here we are, stuck in traffic, standing still at the standstill on the M27 on Monday morning. Um, so, thought we were going to get back about 3 o'clock, probably be about 5 o'clock, I think, tonight. So, a waste of a day, but hey ho, what can you do about it? If it's an accident, somebody's probably in a in a worse place today than me. Uh, you know, can't be helped, can it? But just, just the joys of buying and selling cars and my house makes me laugh when people say oh well you got this for that and you got that for this and you got this for that and you feel like saying yeah and I sat in the M27 all day for it as well so there you go so hopefully there it is look at that little beauty on the back of there yeah can't be many of them left can't be can't be oh by the way it's got no brakes so it's definitely got to go in the workshop oh and it doesn't start as well so we don't know what's the matter with us. <laughs> the joys of auction cars. Yeah, so we're on our way back. There's been a big crash on the M3 and it's diverted us around. Um, and we came through Aldershot, but we're now approaching Knoxford, so we're back on track, but we're probably about an hour behind. And we've changed drivers to my co pilot and co driver, Mandy. Say hello, Mandy. Hello. Yeah, yeah Bailey, let's say, great weekend. Um, didn't think we'd get the car out of bottoms as quick this morning, um, and we did. did. Did really well there. Um, when we stop for another coffee, I'll have a, sh a whip round underneath because it's an ideal chance to see underneath a little van. Uh, quick walk round it. Um, it's as good as putting it on a ramp, looking at another recovery truck. You always get a good idea of what you got. You're, you're sort of at eye level as well. So we'll do that when we stop. Uh, we'll be stopping just before we go on the M40, I think. Yeah. M40, yeah. So we'll have a quick cup of coffee and we'll set up again. Yeah, so there you go. We've stopped in the services. Starbucks, we're going to have a cup of coffee. And I'll show you underneath the van. Like I say, it's always the best time to have a look under something. And that is, apart from a couple of cobwebs, fantastic condition underneath. It's got no brakes, so probably one of the wheel cylinders has burst. But like I say, we'll pop it in the workshops when we get back and have a look. Right, that. we're back at base. Um, what day is this? Tuesday. Tuesday, and we're going to unload the Peugeot 304. Now, in an earlier video, I'm sure I called this a 307. And the reason I did is I've had a couple of Peugeot 307s, and I don't know why I called it a 307, but it's a 304. Very similar on the front. Take that round to the famous Peugeot 504, of which I've had a couple of 504 pickups, and they were fantastic. What an absolute work tool that 504 pickup was. Um, you know, I think they had a 2.3 Peugeot engine in, uh, same engine they fit in the uh, Sierra diesels at the time. But uh, what great work it was. But this thing's obviously been museum stored. So we don't expect it to have any brakes but like i showed you in the services the other day it's absolutely solid as a rock 
That's just dirt underneath. It's not rust, it's just dirt. Looks like it's got some dust or something on it. But it is super solid on the sills everywhere. Inner sills. Just 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 super solid. Seats are nice. Nice headlining. Just a nice, nice thing. Anybody looking for a period van needs a for the cup we've ordered one. I'm just gonna polish it. I'm not gonna touch in the paint. We're just gonna polish it up uh, and leave it in the Patrick Peugeot main dealer colours. Anybody looking for a a period van to take the van shows and car shows. One that's drivable, and by that I mean a lot of the vans commercials and that we have. Your Ford Thames, your Morris 10. They are drivable, but they're not drivable, if you know what I mean. You wouldn't like to go more than 35 mile an hour in it. Well, this sort of thing, you know, I think it'll potter along 50 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour all day long in modern traffic. Um, just a nice little thing. Got the box open, box closed, can't show you that. Again, underneath, oh, she's good. So, what we're going to do, we are going to unload her. Not bore you with unloading it. Um, oh, I'll try the engine bit. There you go. Uh, we're going to unload it, get it on the bottom, pull the wheels off, uh, fluids on the engine, new battery, um, we'll see what else she needs. Um, like I say, it's going to need brakes, it's sat there for so long. I probably won't change the tyres unless they're really perished. Um, unless I can find some period 1970 looking ish ones, um, we'll do the tyres and then we'll get her up for sale. But anybody want to make an offer before it goes up for sale, give us a shout as it stands. It's there at Hardy Classics. End of another day, that's the little Peugeot uh, off the truck. Have a look inside it. Oh, dear, mate. Oh, it's nice and roomy. Yeah, plenty of room in there. A nice little thing. See, the headline is perfect. Uh, Showing 31,000. Uh, I'd be dubious, but you know, you just never know. You never know with these things. Yeah, what a nice little thing. So, what else has been happening? Let's have a look at the workshop, see what Mark's been on with. I don't think there's a lot been happening while I've been away. Um, we're preparing for the. Oh, Run at the Brighton car run um, this year. So we've got the car in. Uh, the engines and that up there. Um, there's the radiator off it. I think what he's been doing is having a look at the points and the ignition system. We're changing all the hoses. Um, under the bonnet there. We're going to change all the hoses. There's the new. EB carburetor on there and the new uh, up tube um, intake. So we're just waiting for bits and pieces to come and uh, that should be somewhere near here, hopefully. And yeah, bits of new hoses and stuff. Hopefully this year we'll uh, we'll get the run done. Well, that's about it for today. Right, so we've got it in the workshop, the little 304 and Mark's Giving it a quick reward with a cutting compound. Uh, we've just done this wing, and you can see the shine. And I'll go around the other side, and you can have a look. We don't think this has been done for an awfully long time. Uh, there's the other side. You can see how dull it is. And marks in the paintwork. We don't want to get it super shiny and concourse finish because it's a van, and it, it wouldn't have been like that. But we do want to take some of the hazing out of the paint and bring it up, you know, to a decent sort of standard. And, and whoever buys it, if they want to take another step forward, they can. If I sell it, because I don't know with this one, I quite like it. 